Okay, so for this review, I'm trying a different lighting setup. It looks like it looks better. Alright, so today we're going to take a look at the Spider UK, uh, not the Marvel uh, Spider-Man 1099, which is just chilling over here. As you can see him, he's just, you know, he's just right there. Uh, okay, so this is the front of the box. Of course, it comes with uh, no accessories for him, but here is... The bill of your piece. We've already taken a look at number two, which comes with obviously uh, none other than this part of the bill for you. So let's see if we can, you know, keep getting these. Let's get them out. So here we have them again out of the box, and I have to say this figure looks much better and feels much better than I thought it would. Um, I did some research, obviously, because I don't read comics, I'm just, uh, into Marvel Legends, uh, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so I had to do some research, and, uh, this guy's name is William, and I remember the last name, but it was with a B, uh, and then it's with a man or something, uh, Buckman, or something like that, so he's pretty much Captain Britain's apprentice, or something like that, so I thought that was pretty cool. So a little Will here, he looks like a complete badass. <laughs> so obviously, here we have the uh, arm that he comes with. Uh, so, so far we got two arms. And they're both really heavy and very highly sculpted, so I think that's pretty cool. <coughs> okay, so let's take a look at <coughs> Mr. Uh, UK. <clears throat> so, taking a look at the face scan here, you see it's kind of a normal, you know, Spider-Man face scan. It's just a uh, little modified, a little bit new with the eyes. I'm glad because it has pretty much no, uh, no flaws. It's pretty clean. Actually, it's really clean. The face scan is really clean. I really like, well, the mask at least. It's really clean and I really like that. Going down, he has, uh, what they're trying to do, kind of like, uh, the United Kingdom flag on his torso part. And on the back, you see a spider symbol. So I think that's pretty cool, especially this part where the lines are right here. I think that's pretty cool. Something else is that on his fists, you see there's uh, some red at the tip of his fingers. So I think that's pretty cool. Kind of like the Miles Morales figure. I don't have that yet. 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 Keyword. Yeah, but basically, um, this figure is pretty simple when it comes to uh, pretty much paint apps. You know, it's just basically painting a United Kingdom flag on the torso of a figure because at the very bottom it's just the pants and they're pretty much just blue so I I dig it though it's so simple it's over it's oversimplified you know counterparting the this spider-man right here the spider-man 2099 because it has so many more colors and a bunch of other things but this one is awesome. Between the two, uh, I have to say that this one is definitely, I mean, no, Spider-Man 2099 is the one that I uh, incline to the most, uh, mostly because of the articulation, because this one lacks articulation. Bring it over here, Mr. Miguel O'Hara, because this is him. I didn't mention that in the last review, but this is Miguel O'Hara. Spider-Man 2099. So putting them, you know, side to side, you can definitely see how, you know, they're different. They're completely different characters. One is simply from the United Kingdom, and this one's from the freaking year 2099. So you see how, you know, time, and well, you know, time, and advances in technology can do to a freaking Spider-Man suit. So this is what he looks like in the United Kingdom. That's what he looks like in. Uh, like 90 years from now and this is what he looks like today 
sadly, I don't have the Pizza Spider-Man yet. It was supposed to come in the mail, uh, but it never did, it never came. Because we moved, and, you know, it never came. So, hopefully it does. Someone, sometime. And they can review it and do a comparison like this. So for now, I got the, you know, 16-year-old Marvel Universe Spider-Man here, Peter Parker. Next to two completely and totally new, badass-looking uh, Spider-Man. So, you get out of the picture. Here's what he looks like. What they look like next to Venom, right here. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, going into the figure's articulation. Okay. Yeah, last time this didn't go so well, but we're going to try to make this work. So I'm going to just move a little bit because the light is behind me. So we have ball jointed head. Let's see? Okay. Head so it goes 360 and goes down and up. Yeah, we have app crunch, pretty nice. It doesn't have the butterfly joints on the chest like the other uh, Spider Man did, but so that means it just goes uh, 360 over here, the shoulder, and goes up and down. Bicep swivel bends at the elbow, two points. Rotate to the wrist, and the wrist pivots, but it's pretty, on mine at least, it's really stiff, but it does pivot if you try hard enough. Uh, waist, like the other one, this one moves so farther a little bit more. Uh, the split, I don't know what is it with the split figures. Daddy Mattel figures do the split perfectly, but they don't really move out. I don't know what's up with that. Thigh movement. Double bend in the knees, rotates the boot, goes down, goes up at the ankle, and of course, the Marvel Legends ankle pivot. So, obviously, besides the bill of figure piece, and you know, pretty much just being the counterpart of Mr. Spider Man 299, Mr. Miguel O'Hara. O'Hara this figure is actually pretty cool, and I recommend it because it's, again, it's a great addition to the collection. It's something very, very nice to have. And, you know, I think it's... Just look at it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's really nice looking. So, I really dig this figure. I think you should too, so you go ahead and, you know, just pick it up. You know, of course, it comes with a hand. And the grab, it actually grabs them. I already tried. See? So we're gonna do a little bit of the testing here. Kinda like I did last time. So you like the video, this is how it works. You like the video, and I smash them through something. So go ahead and like the video, just go ahead and just like it. Scroll down, it just takes two seconds to like the video. Did you like it? I'll assume you already liked it. Here we go. Nice.